Welcome back to more La Milana. Previously, I made a promise that we would fight a boss today. But then I changed my mind, and we're going to go exploring instead. It is what the game is all about. They built this game around the idea that it's not exactly linear. Sure, there's few areas where you have to kill a boss, or you won't be able to get there. But otherwise, it's kind of well open. And there's just uh, quite a few things that they seal away until you solve a puzzle or kill something. But anyway, we're gonna go explore new areas, get more power, get more items. Because the bosses, well, let's just say they're a little bit harder than what they were in uh, the original. Some even more so than others. Actually, some of the hard bosses are a little bit easier, personally. Also, I think I forgot this jar. Yeah, there's ten coins right in that jar. Who'd have figured? Alright, there's also a treasure chest right over here. First we open it using a weight. Then we have to use that trap door. Not like that. I'll get it later. When I can jump a little bit better. Anyway, this is not where we have to go. That is another area down there, but we're not going there just yet. No, we have to head off to the left. Unfortunately, we can't do that. Well, we could explore that room, though. There are some nice little conversations in that room. With skeletons. Wanna talk to dead people? Here, I'll give another college try- Never mind. I was gonna give that trapdoor another college try, but never mind. But is, uh, is out of college. He's a professor, after all. This is actually scanning the wall mural. The Oannis, right here. It's kind of hard to see because of the darkness. How many times have I fallen down here? Let's count. It's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He fell down here seven times and died. Yeah, there's another Oannis. What do you have to say? He's talking about the red skeletons. He died fighting them. Well, he got farther than most. This looks interesting. The Cross of Light. I wonder what they're all about. Yeah. They look important. Well, anyway, let's get to exploring. Oh, we kind of were exploring. Discovery! It's the thrill of science. We're doing science right now with our whip. Hey, archaeology is a science, and this science, yeah, that's the tablet that tells you about the way to get the lift. But this science is combat archaeology. It's the kind Indiana Jones partakes in. He has a whip. He has a pistol. He didn't have to buy his pistol. He came with it. He uses it to shoot guys with swords. Talk about an unfair fight. All right. We got four weights. Let's get some things done in the new area. Right down here. These signs will be uh, relevant later. Take note of that. That is number two. And he shoots lasers at us. We were loitering. Welcome to uh, Mausoleum of the Jerks. Of the Giants. I call them the Jerks. I don't like them. See? That'll lead us back to one. That's the symbol for one in La Milanese. But there's a treasure chest we can get here. It doesn't require tripping, tricky jumping. Trippy jumping! Just take care of him with shurikens. I don't want to jump into him. I want a treasure chest. Full of money. There we go. Shoot the wall with shurikens and you get 30 coins in a treasure chest. All right, let's check out some more areas. This is a trap over here, for now. I don't want to waste my pedestal to show it off to you, but those spikes will drop on you if you try to trigger that weight. Don't do that. Oh no, a Buto. He's the last of the surviving giants. There's tablets all over these ruins. I'm talking about a race called the Giants. They apparently worship someone they called the Mother. And they were trying to return her to the skies in various ways that we'll see on the tablets. Here's about the mother. 
She's huge! Those giants have a huge mama. And the giants are giant. That's why they call them the giants. But if they were... If they came before us, how did they know they were giant to us? Here's the Nebra Sky Disk puzzle. We'll take a look at that later. Let's take a look at this tablet over here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. That tablet is threatening us in a violent way. I don't like it. It's an unpersonable tablet. The sun shone brightly, and Leto fell in battle. That's a hint about a puzzle in this area. We'll take a look at that later. Hey, another one of those stars of light. Or crosses of light. Okay, here's the trick. You hit that switch that I just hit right there. And we head back. Yeah, I was lucky there. I had to stop my commentary because I was like, Ugh! Yeah, that trap door will drop you onto that piece of ground. That piece of ground will crumble. I don't want to crumble it just yet. No, I want to trigger this puzzle. Because it's hard to get up here from down there. Alright, good. I'm glad. So, we should open that chest now. I wonder what's in there. I wonder why it's so well guarded by a trap. We'll be heading here later. Clear the... Nah. Okay, special thing about these Armus guys. You can only hurt them from the back, unless you stun them. I'll try and show that off when I can. Kinda difficult, the basic whip. Did I say basic? Nah, there can't be upgrades. Use the map! This is the mausoleum of the giants. I like how you pause. Lamiza eats curry while you pause. He also does other things. We'll be seeing them later. Alright, so let me see if I can get a stun off. Nah, never mind. These guys wanted to be up there instead. Okay, let's get us a new weapon then. That sounds like a great plan. I love everything about this plan. Including its execution. That worm's execution. Alright, there's stuff in here. Be careful how you whip. That eye will shock you if you hit that block in the middle. Reboot dug a hole. The Cinder Lakes water did a tower. What tower? Well, maybe the tablets will tell us about a tower. Does this guy have anything? Nope. Alright, let's start murdering ghosts. Ghostbusters! Without the proton pack and with more whipping. Alright. Ghost dead. Time to fight the giant ghost. Biggest trick with the giant ghost. Hit him with the back of your whip as he tries to pass by you. I'm doing it wrong. I'm jumping, I have to jump a little bit earlier to this. But you can catch him with the back of the whip like that. They drop a little bit of experience and some gold. And we get the rolling shurikens. That's the wrong button. The rolling shurikens are special. You do that. They roll across the ground. Like a wheel. I will call them the wheel shuriken. Because it's easier than rolling shuriken. Miguel carried a lake to this land to fuel the tower that Rebu is getting the water to. I guess they're trying to make hydrogen out of the water. But hydrogen is explosive. These giants have made a folly. Oh well, that's why they're dead. That's why we're reading about them now. I'm trying to get some experience points. Fill my health back up, maybe? Nah, not quite yet. It's a good thing I can walk through these spikes. Stun? That's a stun right there. And a special note about all of these enemies. They will drop special kinds of ammunition, depending on you know, the enemy. Like, uh, skeletons still usually drop a weight. The Armus guys will usually drop a wheel shuriken. I don't want to drop through that hole just yet. Because I'll get spiked and then punched by that giant rock thing that's floating around by 
itself. Abudo Z, Rebu, and Sackett! We want the mother to live in this land. I wonder what the other brothers think of that plan. There we go, full health. And more mail from Elder Zelpud! We're reading about the history of the Giants! There's no way to learn about the leaders and their history without reading. So all these Giants we're talking about, they're the leaders of the Giant race. They're all brothers, I guess. Z started praying on a moonlit night. That's another puzzle. Let's save... Oh. Yeah, we'll quick save when we scan. Luckily, quick slaves don't take up a slot. And also... They'll... They won't go away until the game is closed. It's kind of like a save state for this game. Which it desperately needs, because some places are difficult. And he gets stuck. A blanket of countless stars spread over Bado as he sleeps. It's another puzzle. We keeping track? Keeping track of this? I'm gonna buy some weights. And this. The Hermes boots. They increase our mobility tenfold. Look how quickly we can move around and jump now. And look how dapper they look on Lemiz over there. Yeah, these are the speed boosts from the original game. We had to do much more to get them. Us, all we need is a big wallet. Zebu was that guy holding up the level. There where the spikes and the stone fist were. He's kind of like the Atlas of the Giants. Well, let's check out over here. This all looks good. Looks puzzle-tastic, if you ask me. And we'll kill a giant stone fist. Why? Because I can. Oh. Hmm, that looks like a hint if I ever seen one. Look what that's all about. Pro tip to the viewer. If I say, I wonder what that's all about. You might want to pay attention. It might be important. Kill ghosts, because I can. I'm a Ghostbuster after all. The fifth one. No, wait, that was uh, the account guy. Now, oh, the heck with him. He was lousy anyway. Strength lies at the foot of Futo. But which one is Futo? Well, it can't be this guy. He has no head. Wow. He's seen better days, indeed. Zebu was the firstborn, and he became Atlas. But at least he wasn't being punished. You! I think you're... I think you're Foot. I am right! Put a weight at Foot's foot? Futo's foot. I like to call him Foot. F-U-T. We get a life extension. Now let's look for this Nibru Sky Disk. Sounds like it's important. Sounds like something I should be using somehow. What do you want now, Zilpa? I'm trying to learn about giants and how they plan to bring their mother to the heaven using a flying tower. Yeah, there's switches. Sometimes they're stubborn. You've got to jump on them. I usually jump on what switches anyway. I'm a switch witch. Alright, I need that platform to get over to that other tablet. The other tablet looks like it has things written on it. Alright, first child has a body of a snake. Second child has a large body. And so on and so forth. I'm not reading all of this. Wow, that's a lot of text. It talks about the bosses. I think it also talks about... Civilizations, maybe? It did say the second children were giants. They had large bodies. What else could it be? The youngest Sackett put a key in Leto's body and went to sleep. I guess he's the only one that survived. Hello guys, how you doing? Well, I'll get that pot later. It's hard to jump there. Especially with those giant fists roaming around. Look at them! They're giant fists! There's nothing good about what they do. That, see, the second race are giants. And the leaders are the brothers. 
All right. Next time on La Milana, we're going to go to the Nibru Sky Disk. We have the teleportation area right here. I'm going to save. Yeah, I'll save over to slide. I had to pre-record. All right, that's it. Okay, that's an example of a glitch. Sometimes you fall through the floor. That's what happens when you go to 3D. All right, I'm Armored Chocobo. Lamiza has floor hacking powers. Good night, folks.